Hello, everybody, and welcome to Thursday, Brad Shoemaker, Alex Navarro, Thursday, Thur Thursday. Everybody out there hear us, see us? The Thursday's here. We can get it, st get it started. You heard it here first. Get Thursday it, is here. Get, ring it in. Get it started. Um, we've got a grab bag for you today. That's right. Get those fingers mm -hmm. ready, Brad. Uh, get them all limber. We've got a grab bag for you today. We're going to play a bunch of games, uh, kicking it off with a game uh, called uh, Touch Type Tail. Say it faster. Touch T T T. Touch Type Tail. 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 Strategic typing. Is that the subtitle? Touch Type Tail. Touch Type Tail. Oh, let's not say it on this screen. No, let's take it over. Beacon strategic typing. Yeah, Mavis Beacon. Uh, now we're talking. Ruthless warlord. Mavis Beacon. Uh, if Mavis Beacon and Mario Mario got in a fight. Yep. Battle Battle of the Typing Tutors. Uh, then that's the prequel to uh, Typing of the Dead. That's where all the we call those the ho we call those the home row wars. <laughs> uh, Brad Shoemaker, you are here in Touch Type a Tale. Uh, mm -hmm. You describe this as kind of an RTS meets uh, uh, Typing of the Dead typing kind of yes. typing game. Typing, it's an RTS, but you type. Okay, I'm going to sit back yes. and watch you type. Now, Alex, you are forbidden uh, to play this game on stream. Uh, yes. Because if you're you will hear, pack. You will hear nothing except the sound of my keyboard <laughs> if we do that. Uh, for folks that don't know, Alex, possibly the loudest typer in the known universe. It's kind of insane. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> My it superpower is, is lead fingers, unfortunately. It is. Uh, you are a hunt and peck um, typer. Brad Shoemaker, are you a home row ready to go? Oh, yeah. Start I'm the show typist. typer. There we go. I am a touch typist. Um, I'm going to roll back a few levels. This game is going to be probably hard to explain while playing. Hmm. Okay. So I'll do my best. You want to give us a log line before you jump in? Um. Yeah, like I said, it's basically an RTS where you type, so like you're typing words in to activate things and spawn units and direct them around, and basically everything is typing. And rather than streamline parts of the RTS experience, they have made them more complicated. Ooh, so it's good game design I right think, there. I think the design philosophy, frankly, is to give you as much busy work as humanly possible to test your ability to multitask and respond quickly. Um, also, they default to hard. They straight up say hard is like the intended experience. Okay. I've already finished this level on hard, but if I try very hard. No, oh my try gosh. It. I mean, let's, let's put it. That's how you want to put it. Let's put it to the test. Okay. Let's see what happens. Uh, it, it's got a story. The campaign's got a story. You're this. You're this apprentice of a long bearded wizard uh, who has come upon a magic typewriter. To be safe once more. Clickety clack. Yeah. Okay. All right, Paul. Go. You know that apprentice, huh? Paul. That's right. Bible name. Um, okay. So you can see the words up here. Mm -hmm. We're going to start spawning enemies soon. But so, like, activate this. Okay, I'll, I'll type slowly. You can see, so, so you can see where I'm selecting. Oh, yes. That's Nexus. A building, a building spot. So I type Nexus, and now I can choose what to build here. Okay. If I go here. This is early enough. They're going to keep tutorializing things. That's um, okay. I'm still kind of getting my my sense of what you're doing here. You have this feel mana out. bar, mana bar okay. here that recharges in the middle, and you have I only have one spell so far, which is to give yourself gold. Also, every missed keystroke takes away mana. Every typo <laughs> takes away mana. Okay. Now, okay, so I've got the castle selected, which is where you spawn workers. So, like I said. You have to hire each worker individually, as you can see I'm doing down here, like as I, I type bread. I have hired another worker. Uh -huh. Now they will go get gold for me, but not without me going in here and hitting H over and over to oh, propel man. this mine cart. Oh my gosh. And typing the words H. <laughs> come along because I'm, I'm manually having to mine uh, gold for those workers to pick up. Bananas. Huh. Yeah, it's uh, one thing also, to hear this game described, but oh, also to see it in action is something else. <laughs> uh, let's 
So oh, you God, can okay, slow that's... yourself down or hit the boost with the H if you want. It's probably, yeah. Uh, oop, okay, I'm gonna buy enough money to uh, build something. Oh yeah, they're still doing the tutorial stuff here. I'm gonna build a farm here. Uh, question from the first, question from the chat here. First question, I should say. Uh, case sensitive? Uh, yes, they enforce okay. capitalization, unfortunately. So, like, I can't just hit H. I have to hit Shift H to make the minecart go faster. Also, like, right. every time you sort of focus away from one thing to another thing, they change all the all the words and letters. So, like, mm -hmm. next time I come back to this minecart, uh, it will be it will not be H. It'll be something else to propel the minecart. So you never you never get to just memorize terminology and type mm -hmm. it without looking. You also have to you always have to look at a thing to see what the current word or letter is. Uh, so, like I said, I have to keep hiring workers here individually. Also, they all retire at the end of each day, so you have to go and rehire them all the next day. I see 10 coins per day. Yeah. Um. <laughs> I do like that the mining is just this guy bombing the stuff as they mm -hmm. cruise through on their car. The animation! Not what I was expecting when I even saw screenshots of this game. Those little and honestly little not vignettes. bad. Yeah, no, I like it. Oh, this guy. Uh -oh. All right, here come the enemies. Uh, there's a whole like. Do I have a mouse cursor? No. You have no mouse cursor. I can't point to things. Mm -hmm. um, each of these locations on the map, you can see there's like a capture and hold mechanic to this. So basically, anything that's got a little towers around the sides, you can capture it, and that'll spawn archers there, so you get some static defense. Okay. Um, and some of these are building spots. As you take them over, you can like build stuff there. Or on some maps, they're like beacons you can light so that more units will show up. Um, I've done an escort mission at this point. There's there's a lot in here. Anyway, um, this lady looks concerned. Now this is on very hard, right? Yes. So I built a farm over here. So now I have to go manually plant the fields, and later I will have to manually harvest them. Okay. Uh, do I have enough to build a barracks yet? I do. Let's build. Um, hmm. let's get the basic. I'm just going to build a barracks for the basic dudes. Do you know what scales with the difficulty? If it's like longer they words come. or money? I saw, not that I've noticed, it's mostly monosyllabic from what I've seen. I will say when I was clicking through the difficulties, there were some minor changes on the map. Oh, like I think that farm on the far left in the middle over there was not there on hard. Okay. Shit. Okay. They're already. All right. So I've activated my barracks here. I've now um, activated auto recruit on this barracks. Okay. So it will start spawning. See, these guys are moving around, taking territories. Oh, I yeah, in the, in the middle of the screen and lower rights and middle yes. lower right. Little guys with the health bars. Yeah. Okay. So you yeah. did not set spawn oh. points. It'll always spawn I, out of there. Yeah, I'm gonna say that maybe very hard was a mistake <laughs> here. It's a lot of guys got, versus your. I've one. got one unit here. Yeah, one unit. Uh, now there's two. Well, yeah, I probably should have just gone for it. Okay, well. I appreciate that you barracks. felt bold. They're taking my barracks. I've, I've gotten several levels past this in the campaign. Also, I'll show you before I lose here. See, now that I have, now that the fields have grown, I now have to go here and, whoop, well, I lost my farm. <laughs> <laughs> what farm? I, harvest, I harvested, I harvested one field before they took my farm. Um, anyway, like, like I said, very hard is only one level up from what they recommend as the uh, as the kind of default experience. Also, they rate your accuracy and words per minute at the end of the level. That's pretty. That's pretty good accuracy. I find to be kind of amusing. <laughs> um, let's see here. Oh, you know what? I'm, I'm going to try. I'm going to go back to here. I unlocked this skirmish of old. I'm not sure if that's like some kind of challenge level that opens up here after you beat this area. Mm. Let's try this. Sticking with very hard? Very hard again. Oh, God, did I leave it there? You did. Yeah. Oh, well, let's, let's be reasonable. Fair. They do occasionally let you use um, the mouse or stuff. Okay. There you go. No mice ever. I know this churl. Rumble. All right, is this just a beat the other side kind of thing? Okay. 
Oh, well, okay, this is like kind of standard RTS, like beat the other side's base. All right. So this does have PvP multiplayer, right? Yeah. Yes, it does. Oh, God, I don't have any magic on this one. Jeez. Fever. That's rough. That's the mine. I get some gold coming in before I do anything else. Mmm, pie. Mmm, doors. Oh, it's still not enough. Are there upgrades that you can get throughout um, a, this thing? I don't think I've seen any yet, but okay. it's got enough, enough other RTS stuff that I would assume, probably. Uh, okay. All right, that should be plenty of gold for now. So I would think guys. as the units get more expensive, you'd need to find a way to collect gold faster or... More efficiently. Yes. Uh, farms, farms also generate gold. Ah, okay. Um, and like I said, that first spell I had also just gives you gold, but I don't have it on the skirmish for some reason. Bakery muscle. Mm-hmm. Might as well keep getting gold while I'm waiting for... Actually, now I can go hire another person. Fog of War, Brad will, obviously. Brad will never tweet. Nope. No, it's good. That's good advice. Not if I can help it. Mm -hmm. But now Please. will you ski is ah. the question. <laughs> ah! Whiff. Uh, Deist. Okay. Let's go ahead and get a farm going there. What do I need for barracks? I might... Hmm. Might start with cavalry here, actually. Oh, going big. I found them pretty good for moving around quickly and kind of cutting off units. So there's, there's mechanics around like flanking from both sides. Building. There are mechanics around attacking in motion versus uh, stationary. There's kind of a lot. So how do you unlock those other build sites? Oh, uh, you have to take them. You have to send a unit there and kind of slowly capture them. Hmm. Whoa. Gold here. Actually, I should go ahead and plant some fields. <laughs> Stop eating, get um, to work. Mm -hmm. Let's go for the cavalry first here. I'm curious once you get into your combat or moving units around, how you tell them where to go. Yeah, I was just about to show you that on the last one and got routed it. about ten seconds after a unit popped out. Okay. Oop, Someone's yeah, coming down upper left. Coming down the pike here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so my oh boy. Oh boy. That guy has a horse though, so that's probably good. How fast is it going to spawn this cavalry? It did not do it. Holy shit. Wait. Can I destroy this? Wow, so I, I will say it is like really brutal about God, really? <laughs> it's, Wait, how it's, did he win? Like he touched my he touched my castle, basically. Or That's I, it? I guess. So touched my castle. This is the first time I've done a mission like this. I'm gonna uh -huh. try this one again. Like when I, I did an escort mission where you're trying to escort a bunch of caravans and you can only lose so many. And it's the same kind of thing where if any of their units touches your caravan for even a split second, they're just dead. What? There's no like. Oh wow. There's no like. There's no like. Oh, they're going to attack for ten or fifteen seconds, and you can go try to fight them off before the caravan dies. Like it's instant. <laughs> and it's kind of it seems like kind of the same thing here. That's like punishing. as soon as he, as soon as he even reached my castle, it was just game over. Like holy crap. I've never I've never had them take a building before. So let's um. Uh, let's be a little more judicious about getting a barracks going quickly here. Uh. That's, you know, standard standard amateur RTS hour, right? It's like you try to get your autonomy up to full speed before you build. I just, But it doesn't feel like there is much autonomy here. Uh, I, I wasn't expecting... I wasn't expecting them to rush, okay? Oh, did you say economy or autonomy? Economy. Economy, yeah. Oh, like, economy. I was trying to get it. Oh, I was okay. trying to, like... 
get max yes. gold out and get full totally. workers and all that stuff. Yes. Uh, now I know that I need a barracks sooner than that. Ah. Um. Say, like the hardest thing about the interface so far has been if you if you errantly type the first letter of another word that's on screen that is not the one you want. And you're not looking at it, you won't realize you've activated. So essentially, you've actually activated a different word. I hear you. Oh, okay. And so you are like, there's a split second of like, I'm, I'm typing these letters and nothing's happening. What's going on? And then you have to like look around the screen and go like, oh, accidentally start typing something else. Does that make sense? Yeah. Do you mm -hmm. think? Do you think in and, their programming and, of this, they make sure to not have multiple wor words with beginning letters on screen? Yeah, they would have to do that, or, or okay. it wouldn't work. But. <clears throat> And when you do that, like I said, every wrong letter is going to take more mana away. Sure. So it gets to be kind of a problem <laughs> if you type like six or eight wrong letters in a row, you just kind ah. of kill your mana. All right. All right, got a barracks going here faster this time. And we'll get at least a an offensive unit or two out. I've got an offensive unit. Uh huh. Is there any way to flag words in this game as like this should be in the mm. word list? I don't think so. Okay. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say before they put this out, they went on a slur pass to make I, sure I, that I none know. of that stuff got in there. Ah, uh, you never know. Like, the language is very fluid, right? It's true. Okay. Now I've got auto recruit on for my cavalry barracks here. So what? Ha he didn't produce a unit in time or did they stop working at like nighttime or something uh like my side i think it was just not time. in time last it just time. wasn't in time yeah yeah okay. you know yeah my, my first unit had not come out by the time like i said yeah i still want a mouse cursor i can't reach but he came down from that left path there yeah and my, my first cavalry was training but the second he touched the barracks i lost control it was of over jeez yeah so it's kind of kind of punishing Oh uh, yeah, so I can show you how you direct units around here, but let me get a farm going first. No, I can't. Oh, well, here comes uh, a bad guy. Yeah. We'll so, get so the lower lowercase letters or lowercase words around offensive units are how you move them. Oh. So if I type my fold here, it'll move that current glob of cavalry up toward that dude. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and do that because he's taking that point. And they um, kind of just generally move in that direction? Yes, so I'm going to chase him because the cavalry, like I said, do more damage when they attack by moving rather than just being stationary. I see. Um, although they only move between points, so as you, like I can't stop them. They're going to run all the way over here, and well, now they're mm -hmm. going to fight these guys. But they'll stop on the way. Them. Yeah, you have to wait for them to get to the next junction before you can issue another command to okay. potentially say say send them home. Ooh, also, my workers one. are workers are done for the day, so I'm not getting any more income from gold for now. Oh, the workers might... are going home. Uh, Those cavalry might be in trouble. Yeah, and I can't, once they're fighting, you have you more at least. Them. Yeah, not a ton. Yeah, you push them you back. can't move them. Yeah, you can't move cavalry. Uh, or you can't move any units while they're fighting. You have to wait for them to kill or be killed. Uh, be I think killed. that's enough think that's enough to defend with for now but this is actually a little dicey like this is a bummer because um no workers to mine gold at night and i also don't have the magic spell to give me more gold periodically so i'm oh really wait just here comes morning sitting here which is a bit rough it's a strong union all right, mm -hmm. all right get to work farm going I need a farm going because farm is essentially just free gold as long as you keep up with the upkeep of the crops. And you got a squad coming. Yeah, I should try to time this and attack them while they're heading this way because I show oh, no, there's more. Oh boy. Oh boy. Dude, this is rough. Rumples on the tear. I can't even hire another worker yet, let alone make more units. Okay. Well. Oh, I'm screwed. Those guys are coming around from the top, too. Dude, this is brutal, man. This is harder than I've even seen in the campaign so far. <laughs> so bad. I lost my barracks. They just they just touch it? It's so wild. Yeah, that's it. That, that, 
I, I maybe that's something that changes on lower difficulties. I don't know. But so would you just touch help. it and get it back? Um, I started to say let's find out, but I don't think I'm actually going to survive long mm. enough to find out. Yeah, that's cavalry, really. Uh, yeah, no, I'm screwed. I'm done. They did some work, but they didn't quite get there. They didn't take my castle, though. Weirdly, not yet. I mean, maybe it's because they were they were already in motion toward this other toward this other point. Oh, but this guy is probably just going to take it. Right, let's see if let's see if I lose the second he touches the castle. Don't be a hero. Oh, oh he's rebuilding your yeah, barracks. Yeah, he, he had to take it. He had to fully take the point first. Man, this is crazy. And now I'm like mad enough to try to beat this. <laughs> so it's on hard, right? Yeah, but like I said, they say this is the intended experience. Like, yeah, like it is. You know, right. I have a, I have a sickness where if they say this is how you're supposed to play this, and it's the middle mm -hmm. difficulty. Also, there are five difficulties, and it's the one in the middle. So, other than the terminology, I, that very much seems like the, the default. Uh, I think cavalry was just the wrong choice there. Mm -hmm. I should have probably should have known better. Cavalry are better for it, like attacking and flanking and stuff, and not so much holding points. Can What's you, hard here is just how little you have to work with at the beginning of this scenario. Would you do you think they're doing like a rush on you? Like, are, are could I'm you just not. go get them? No, well, I have nothing to take or attack with right now. Um, you know, I am gonna go ahead and build a farm. Why not? Free gold, like you said. Uh, yeah, having having that steady source of gold overnight while the workers are not going would help. I got really reliant on that gold spell, to be honest. Like, it's kind of really hurts to not have that here. Hey, I got some crops growing. Maybe maybe getting that farm going faster will help. is that um, so the, the lower left thing there if you hold control basically hold control and hit one of those letters is how you select between types of units and then the JK and L is basically splitting them up That's wild. Okay. so J, J is like move this whole blob K is move half of them L is peel one guy off can I afford to hire another worker yes probably I really need to get a barracks going though ASAP Seeing how this scenario has gone. The gold's moving, though. Come on. Yeah. Come on, farm. Come on, farm. I'm okay, working here. here. Okay, I'm going to get. I'm gonna go for the defensive guys here. Oh, actually, uh, I wish you could pull up, like, the codex a little easier here. I don't know if... I don't know if the sword and shield or the pikeman hmm. units are better for defending. I'm going to guess the sword and shield guys. I would think yeah, just pike. RTS would be against cavalry to that pike. Yeah, man. but what? A, that's just going oh off God. of cliche. That's my sieve that talking. Yes, right. Look at all that farm gold. I think you hired everybody. Yeah, I just I hit the cap. The economy's also, booming. The, the farm, the farm. I forgot exactly how much you get from. I kept reading that as Adobe and was like, <laughs> why is this not working? Adobe. Um. Yeah, the, I had not. It had never really been an issue, so I'd never paid attention to exactly how much you get from farms. But when I'm in this tight situation, it's uh, good to know. So, could you right, send so that should, little dude up to the upper left to expand? Yeah, if, if you was, wanted. In fact, I was, I was, I was very much thinking about doing exactly that. But oh, wait, you're gonna have oh, a battle. Here comes a guy. Here we go. He's well, that's exactly. It's exactly why I didn't, because <laughs> don't want to leave okay. things undefended. Gold you got guys starting to churn out now, so. Yeah, I have a lot of gold here, and I should get a harvest again here soon. But, uh, yes, I know. <laughs> you could, you could split these units. Not now. I think now is the oh. time to defend. Now is time for overwhelming force. As well he did it! Some... He did it! He got his he ass. Did. He did that. Look at oh, that. Oh, oh, oh! I don't know if he's gonna get this guy. Probably not, but that's okay. But if you can keep okay. them from, like, advancing, that's oh, really what you need here. That guy got <laughs> rolled. Yeah, I mean, this farm was absolutely clutch. 
Look at the amount of gold I have now. You might want to send some troops up there. They're gonna they're gonna have a foothold in your region. Kind of, yeah. Kind of waiting for a couple more to spawn, or I might let them come to me. I'd sure. say let them come to you at this point. That's that's kind of how I was feeling for now. They don't tend to build on the build points so far that I've seen. Mm. Shit, that's kind of a lot of guys. But you have more. Oh, now I'm flanked. That's not cool. But it is going to keep pumping out more units. Yeah, I think I'm fine here. I don't know why I'm not getting archer support here. Maybe that's just not part of this scenario. From the barracks? Oh, yeah. I see. I see a oh, little. No, oh, yeah, no, there are. There are arrows firing. Yeah, yeah, there they are. Took them a minute, but they got there. Okay. All right. Dude, okay, what they have archers world. now. They're sending over. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, this is not good. I've got to get more barracks going. Uh, can I fucking hire more workers? Oh my god! I need to harvest crops. Uh, archers this... are coming. Jesus, this is a nightmare. Um. Hey, right, hopefully those archers are. This is rough. I need to. Well, at least you don't get flanking on the archers. It looks like. Oh my and god. They are shooting your guys are shooting at the archers. Yeah, that helps. Also, okay, I'm about to take out these. Okay. I should be good. Alright, I'm gonna split half of this force off. Okay. To go take care of these archers here. Um what else do I need oh, to do? Hire workers. Uh, although that farm has really kind of taken care of my gold needs. Um Okay. Now, you know, I can take a forward outpost over here. Yeah, Those maybe guys are there. Yeah. build some archers over there or something. Can you oh, build shit, I defensive structures? I think you <clears> mentioned <throat> something about um, that, right? Not that I've seen. Oh, okay. So far, there have been some that are already in place on the map. Oh, boy, here come more archers. Uh, I'm going to fall back. Because otherwise, those guys are just going to stand there getting shot to death. Could they take out that archer, or they're not very good against the archies? No, they, I believe they'll just stand there, unless you direct them against the archers. Um, let's, they have rejoined the uh, formation. Let's, let's move half of these guys over here. Just gonna let these guys continue churning out. Eventually, uh, hopefully, we'll get enough guys to go actually take and hold a point. <laughs> yeah, these guys are going to get this archer. Yeah. One archer right. is not great against three guys with swords. That's what I found. Hopefully. Well, here comes another archer. Good stuff. Time to go kill him. Harvest these crops. Actually, I have so much more gold than I know what to do with. I just can't hold a point long enough to kill the to tell you or build a barracks. Also, yeah, so yeah, like uh, I said, you can't you can't just turn these guys around midstream, so they are gonna eat all this archer damage. Yeah, they uh, built Although some now that I've gotten there. Yeah. Now that I've gotten there, I've neutralized that point, so they no longer have archers there. Can you take over that point? Because it looks like a defensive structure. Yes. yes. Yes, you can. Oh, that'd be good. This guy. Oh boy. Uh, I just. That's okay. No, you still got enough to, to defend with. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna go take these points because if I could get two barracks going up here, it'd solve like kind of all of my problems. Oh, there's another one of those right in the middle, Brad. If you if you want to take try and get that defensive point, that'll yeah. maybe yeah, stop I'll, I'll some of that. that. I'll, yeah. I'll take that too. I just I think unit production is in extreme need right now. <laughs> more units. I need to get some more gold going. Like I said, you know, like it's not enough to just assign workers to go get your gold. You have to keep going back and mining for gold. Oh, you have so much gold, so much gold. You do. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. Just That's some Scrooge McDuck on. shit right there. Yeah. It's a Nintendo War workers chest. Idle, if you can help it. Uh, also, there's not a ton else for me to be doing at the moment. Uh, well, let's see. Okay. Oh, okay. Let's get. I'm gonna get some archers. Going oh, here. heads up! You got, got guys coming. coming yeah. In, yeah. yeah, I see. Him. Yeah, I see. Him. Uh. Oop. Let's move those guys back. Let's get. So I got archers. I'm gonna go ahead and get cavalry up here now. Go go. Time to get some crops. Building. 
Oh boy. Two. Uh huh. <laughs> I'm trying to make a move. I just built those barracks. Oh, that you know that assholes. That sucks. Yeah, That's dude, rough. this game is really fucking hard. <laughs> Like that just seems like not fun. Maybe I'm not yeah. understanding the mechanics as like, well. But. Like I said, I I had not dealt with them taking buildings before the stream, so I did not realize they could just fucking like step on them and you were done. That really hurts. I mean, I guess a you got to leave a garrison by each building then. So yeah, but you still have like enough the, units. Yeah, it's, it's it looks like those those barracks those barracks stay built, so it looks like I will be able to just go back up you there can go and recapture them. them. Jeez, man. Yeah, they did some damage. I'm not going to lie to you. Yeah. But you can rebuild. And let's split half these off to go retake those. Oh, so that now he's capturing it, right? Yeah, so I don't he's know if that means to. they'll be able to... They, that might mean they can build out of there? or Yeah, they yep, they're arms. shooting you. Um... It's like I'm going to need more guys to get that back. So I'm going to yeah, say from seeing it. what they're doing, at least leaving one guy there allows them to fire on yeah. uh, as a defensive position. Yes. Um, maybe two is enough. I just don't want to leave my base undefended here. So no, that's fair. That guy's almost dead. So I think basically the second they kill him, the archers will stop and they should right. be good. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay. Good lord. Taking man. it back for the people. See, I'm constantly, like, you kind of you forget, like, oh, I need to plant more crops because I'm busy trying to micro these units. Um, what I really need are archers. Like, desperately. Which I should have as soon as I take these back. More gold crates. Nope. Okay. All right, make some damn archers, please. They're doing it. Okay, I should be in a better spot. So you have archers and cavalry going now? Yes. Nice. The cavalry are great for chasing down the slower units. Like I said, they do more damage when you attack in motion. And when you flank. interesting the enemy's guys have just been kind of milling around in that lower area for a while and haven't advanced maybe they're staging yeah 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 this they're is just some about straight something. up attrition it's just some straight up attrition here um so when you if you were to unbend you would send that entire group of archers and cavalry or yes, you select that's okay. that that whole giant blob so if i control k then it'll send half of them except I here see. they are you kidding? Oh, yeah. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> oh, Lord, they're oh, coming. There they come. Uh, All right. Start arching, guys. Crap, maybe send I was the... trying to... There you go. I was trying to select just the cavalry to send them, but I couldn't do it in time because everything's happening so damn Oh, my fast. gosh. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay. Uh, well, the good yeah, news I mean, is you are taking out their sword, guys. It was the massacre I think I'm gonna quiz hold. sheep. I think I'm going to hold. Yeah. I hope. Dude, this is fucking brutal. Holy oh, shit. I don't know about this. Like, if I hadn't uh, gotten attacked on both fronts at the same time, I might have been okay, but I couldn't send any defenders up there. Wow. Now I need to send some of these guys here to try to take out these archers who were just sieging me, but I need to send more guys up here to... Nope. I don't know. If that's gonna, I don't no know about this one. The archers. This is rough. This is, this is insane. This is so much harder than even the campaign missions have been. Oh, fighting to the last. <laughs> hey, you know, that guy put in a valiant effort. Effort. I might be able to hold. By the time they think about moving down here, I should have a decent defensive force again. Um, as soon as I get a few more guys... Okay, good. So if they come to me, then I then I will have the benefit of my my static archers here to help kill these mm -hmm. guys. Unless archers take the night off. It seems there they are. 
Apparently they do. They do. Wow. That seems like a bad look. Kind of need at least one guy up there in the archer perch, look, I think. Somebody's got to be up there. Yeah. Yeah, that seems negligent. Um, send somebody up here to try to... Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> My guys are just standing here dying. I have nobody. I think I'm about to lose. Wow. Oh. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, oh. It's not over yet, folks. Oh, Kill that archer. Oh, get Kill him. that archer. Oh, they took out my archer. You archers have a sword, man. They took out my dude. Wait. Can that guy recount? Oh, no. Mm, no. Oh, That's, my uh, God. So fucking bananas. That's a uh, bail. Fuck you. Rumple has Goodbye. won again. I've had it with Rumple. Damn. Damn Sick Rumpel. of this, dude. Um, Damn, Rumple. Good look at the next campaign mission if you want. Yeah, let's. I, I, I'm have, curious to see what that's like. These tend to have bespoke objectives, so it'll just be like get ten caravans through or collect sixty gold rates. Apparently, I have to get a golem to the village, whatever that is. I've never seen golem. a golem before. Paul was happy that he was able to help once more. Paul needs to get some Rodney sleep, man. Paul, I think, has scurvy. <laughs> what a noble act, Paul. You did Paul. very well. Paul needs to eat an orange. <laughs> Here, take this coin. You have earned it. Paul was grateful. It was the first coin he had ever earned by himself. Don't bite it. Your teeth are going to shatter. <laughs> you a leader when your people are suffering. Desperate times call for desperate measures. The warmongering Duke Katunara is hoarding the riches from their raids out with. Out with. Boys. That's a good word. The people of Knoxfort are starving. We need that gold. Very Scrooge. My number one dime. <laughs> ah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, this guy looks like a tough customer. Mm. All right. Where are we at here? Uh, at least I got my, my gold magic back. That helps. That's the that's the little five second bar in the middle. It's recharging. Oh, I still only have the one spell. I've seen screenshots. Apparently, there you can have like seven or eight spells at one time. But uh, so this costs three segments. So I just pop that up and hit K and get gold. Okay. So often. Nice. Okay. But like I said, don't mistype too much. Saw both ebook and blogger in this one. Yes. I started the comment on dictionary. ebook. I cannot believe that this will be as hard as that skirmish was. That I, I think I mentioned, but that skirmish mission we were just doing only unlocked when I finished that whole area. Mm, okay. So that that may be kind of a like here's the ultimate challenge for this tier of campaign. Um, the farm going. So in in the campaign parts, they haven't blitzed you with troops yet? Not nah, nothing like that. Okay. They, they do come and attack you. You know, they do. There is opposition, but, like, you know, just that aggressively just straight up trying to take your base? Not not, not so far. I really want to know what the online is like now. Are people playing this? I can download mm -hmm. it here if you want to try and connect to something. Yeah, or I, I can just try the matchmaking also. You're going to go against, you're going to test your typing skills against the random? Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm here for That's it. That's the stuff. Yeah. Um, It's actually weirdly been a lot easier to do this while talking than I thought, because my I'm not, I'm not consciously registering what these <laughs> words even are. I'm just, sure. Just doing the job. Uh, Yep. Somehow you are doing just captures in the background, training an AI as you type. Yep. Yep. Yeah, this is like previous missions. I'll, I'll be shocked if anybody even shows up to the base anytime soon. So much so that I'm just going to go take this. Take it. 
I got this. Uh, I don't know what this. I'm not sure what this gold horde mechanic is. I mean, certainly can draw some conclusions, but I haven't seen it yet. Um. Uh, oh, well. Here comes the cavalry. Well. Oof. Spoke too soon. Ah, it's um, just one guy. How bad could it be? Yeah. Yeah, and cavalry, like oh, I said, is ineffective. Two, oh, my two up God. Top. Yeah. It's just three horses. How bad could it be? Cavalry is ineffective against um, these defender guys. All right. I'm going to need every guy I've got, though. Survive this, probably. Fucking archers, where are you? It's nighttime. We're sleepy. Sleeping. The, the archers' the union has strict hours. Holy shit, man! They knew what they were doing. I think I'll be okay. Like I said, yeah, you're turning out guys great. at a decent rate here. So, cavalry, cavalry, not great in these situations, thankfully. Um, let's get archers going. Trout. You know, I mean, is. As rough as that last one was, I never actually got archers produced in any quantity. So that should help quite a bit here. Oops. Building complete. Uh, I don't think you can set rally points that I've seen. Hmm. Which would be nice to just funnel archers straight down to the base, but anyway. Yeah. Without having to like type them in. Oh man, I can't. There we go. Queer. Um, ah. Yeah, see, I, I accidentally activated useful instead of usage and couldn't figure out why it wasn't working. Hmm. Is it worth taking another rally point? Yeah, I should I should peel some guys off. Um, and, uh, so I need to, I have not figured out how to select. Like by type? Well, actually, I can spare half of these guys, generally. Yeah, like, would I hit? Okay. So if I hit control once, uh, it'll select all types. If I hit I it again, it'll select just one. Okay. okay. Oh, it looks like you can't you can't select, like, two at a time, though. It looks like it's either or. Mm, okay. Anyway. All right, so I'm going to send half these guys down here. Let a couple more guys build up here and then go, well, you know, I could probably spare a few here. Oh boy! Oh my God! You know, they're coming back. every Falling time. Back. Those, ar those archers are fucked. Oh, but are they gonna run you well, down nope. while you're running? No, they decided to hold that point. Ah, this guy's fuck. Wait, Form. really? Yep. But that's not an immediate capture. As, yeah, I just got it back. I basically ran that guy off, and now I. Seems like you don't even have to retake it. It just instantly becomes yours again as soon as you run off the... The guy who's trying. Yeah. Shoot, that's a lot of cavalry. It um, is, but you're building up a fair amount of guys that can take them on. It's yeah. time to build some... Uh, build a pikemen or spearmen. Yeah. Pikes? Yes. Pikes just, just with, pikemen. With that, many, with that many cavalry, I don't want to... Uh, you know, I'm going to peel one guy off to see if I can go... Let me make sure it's a defender. Wait, can I not say send one defender? No, it looks like I... Oh, there we go. Okay. That makes sense. I'm going to send one dude up here. A lonely, lonely those, man. Those guys have to be coming in at some point, right? You would think so. Well, they are just That's a lot of cavalry. down there. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like this. They got thoughts about how this is going to go. Well, they're all going down there. All right, go get them. Oh. Fuck. Send half these guys. 
Jeremy. Do not take my fucking castle. Holy shit. No, no, no. You're going to stop them before they do. Uh, did I get... You got a couple of them. Uh, gotta get some pikemen going, hopefully. Those archers are doing good work. Yeah. Yeah, it seems like that's actually maybe stopping them from taking it at all? I'm not sure. Unclear. They figured out the, the plan. Nice! Okay. All right. You staved off their first big wave. Okay, yeah, I got them now out of there. Thank God. Treating. Because I think I was about to just lose. Uh, okay, let's. The, I need to leave defenders here. Yeah. Okay. Now I can get pikemen going. That is going to change everything with these fucking cavalry. Oh, they're starting to come again. Yep. Yeah. I at least have defenders this time. Uh... Oh man, they have they invested they quickly. They're trying. Versus... Yeah, They're man, trifling. Geez. This is ridiculous. Got some pike guys up here, but those are not going to last very long. Not enough of them, unfortunately. Um, they saw what you were up to and were like, "Nah." Man, they took they took my pikeman barracks already. I, hopefully, I should be able to fight these guys off. Yeah, I think so. <clears throat> with what you've got, I'm going to take half these guys up there. Supplements. All right. I should be good to fight this off. I'm going to try to take that archer defense point down here after that. Hmm. Although one guy might not be enough to do that. Now that I think about it, because he might just get we'll killed out. by these archers. Can um, one guy retake your pike? Pike Valley? Oh, that's right. I Duh, the archers go away as soon as somebody shows mm -hmm. up. Oh, nice. Uh, can they do what? Uh, retake your, your barracks, your pike barracks. Yes, that you should just, work. Just needs to touch it, right? Yes. Yeah, if I can get a few pikemen at each location, I should be good on the fucking cavalry. It Oops. seems like that's all they're sending at you right now. Now, yeah. Whoa! That was a mistake. <laughs> Oh no, I took it. So what is, what are these gold? I mean, do they just give you a bunch of gold? Gold is not my problem. Laid check. Laid stud check. Mm -hmm. Oh God, I didn't realize when you retake a barracks, you have to reactivate recruitment. Great. Well. No, it's going now, yeah, it's going. Yeah, 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 but here comes more cavalry. <laughs> They're arching. You know, it's daytime, so you got the archers on the wall. That might really help. Yeah, I might actually repel this. Okay, yeah, it's pumping guys out. The guys with the big huh. sticks. Nice. Okay, oh, go. Just... Wait. Just shoveling what? gold. Oh, interesting. Huh. Just another resource yeah. node? God damn it, man. I, mm, I haven't even had workers going this whole time. It's a lot to keep track of. Mm -hmm. it's, it really tests your ability to multitask. All right. Plant more crops. I want to peel some of these pikemen off because I will get more there. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Hmm. Carpenter, you say? That's the first time I've seen that. Let's see if I can get another gold caravan moving here. So I'm going to send some guys down here. Got the gold list. So that's the type of caravan, like I said, if they touch that, it will die instantly. <laughs> right. Why am I not producing archers? Just a lot of gold. You got a ton of gold. Yeah, I'm oh, not sure why they're not... you might be at your archer limit on the right there. Is that eight oh, of eight? Oh, God, archers? I didn't notice that. Jeez, that's unfortunate. Let's um, send some of these archers back Do up that way. Send this guy back down here because that's a choke point. 
Let's send some of these pikemen that way. Look, I'm not going to try and metagame this, but I am going to say it looks like they have eight cavalry on the board. So if you can wipe out all these cavalry, that means they'll have zero You can start reserve. advancing. Yes. I think I'm almost there. I'm just very paranoid oh, because of how fast you... Uh, We're making moves. Yeah. It being nighttime is not optimal. Yeah. Okay, nicest. Still just trying to get my kind of get used to the interface enough to just do things quickly. Okay. They thought they were crafty attacking Man, at night. They are pumping out cavalry from that. Yeah. Cavalry stable? Let's call it yeah. a stable. Let's call it a yeah, stable. I think, I think I that might be the preferred <laughs> terminology. I can I can definitely afford to move more of these guys up because I've got to hold the pike. Here they stuff. come! Oh, they're oh. coming down! <laughs> oh man! Yeah. Oh, they're coming down the pike, all right. Wait, how many cavalry can they build? Or are they just replenishing units? I don't know. But now you have the the stronger archers, which is good. The additional ones. Yes. Ah. Uh, what is? See, I'm still Charge in on those speed. fools. You can take those. Yeah, yeah charge, to... take that whole crew. Send that whole crew down there. And I would say if you beat these guys, you should probably go take that stable. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah, I'm going to do that. <sighs> ah. God, I still have no workers. Oh, I haven't oh, even man. looked at Carpenter yet. I'm the carpenter. What does this guy do? I, you know, to help. Oh, the golem. Hmm. Catapult? Man, I want Is to that catapult. cool? <laughs> I mean, it's <laughs> a trebuchet, <laughs> but. All right. Go take that barracks Ooh. before they can rebuild Taking your. Uh... Taking this goddamn barracks. <laughs> Yucky. Losers. Okay, let's move these archers. Here. Yes. Nice. There we go. Uh, you might lose your uh, pike, pike spot. Oh, I didn't mean to move all those guys. I thought I had half selected. Josh. Josh, get back up there. Just letting everyone visit home for a little bit. It's fine. Okay. Everyone is ready to deploy. All right, man. Take it easy. <laughs> yeah. Listen, he survived a lot. Oh, interesting. Okay. Oh, wow. So where am I sending it? To that giant castle? Or to the far end? I don't know. I don't know. Or was that an optional objective? Oh, I th yeah, that's... That's okay. Getting the golem there, I don't think is the actual objective. I think you have to take the village, but getting the golem there is also a thing. Okay. Let's go H O. Hmm. You can stop hmm. there, I think, if you, if you just want to hit enter. Bottom routes. Yeah, I want to try to get into that village, though. Is this the ultimate objective? Uh, bottom route looks less defended, probably, maybe. Yeah, let's try that. See how it goes. There's more golems where that came from. Um, let's see. Yeah. Uh, am I maxed on all units? I am, except for... No, you got guys yeah. coming down. Yeah, yeah. I don't think you were flying. Well, wait until this golem gets here. Oh, man. they There were a lot of those guys, to be fair. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to send I this whole mass over there. Can you build? Oh, you can't build camera. Not yet. Oh, they're running them off. Nice. The hell out of here. They saw this golem coming. They were like, nope. Nah, son. Wait, what's that? What's that rooster mean? 
Uh, which one? <laughs> the one in the very bottom. The one in the screen. bottom. <laughs> he just said I. I think that's just like a toasty thing. Okay. Oh, I didn't even. I didn't even have time to acknowledge it. Um. Oops. Nope. Wrong. Not what I wanted. Kind of wish you could cancel move orders. Oh, okay. So I took their stable, so I can just straight up do the thing now. Look at these two chumps up there. Yeah, and this golem and just they just kind of get out of the way. Get out of the way, golem. Ah! Things are moving now. Yeah. Yeah, I'm in a much better spot now. I should have sent a guy up there to take that. And for all the all the big deal they make out of these gold hordes, they kind of don't seem super necessary here. Um, Solid oh, mad. Solid mad. No. Huh. Boy, I'm really pushing them back now. Yeah. You've got some guys you could flank. Uh, I could probably spare all of these guys at this point. Look at this. Look at this. Taking all map now. Oh no no! Uh, Golem seems to have a lot of health. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, well, here, fuck this. I can just... You, um, you swarming? That's it? Flank these guys up here. Get them. They moved in on me, though. Yeah, I still think you'll get them. I think I have won this match. I think... I think you have. And the golems there. Yep. What do I do now? Eat Got it shit, all. Sir Jeldor. Got it all. Huzzah. Nice. He's no rumble. Huzzah. That seems cool. Uh, yeah, this game and is hard. kind of awesome. It's very, it's pretty tough, but it's kind of awesome. Um, should I hit the matchmaking real quick? Sure. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I want to see. I want to see you try and take someone on. You do that while I load up the next thing. Then I'll need you to update the Twitch when it's time. Okay. Anybody has this game, go find a match. Mm -hmm. Anybody? It is the middle of the day Wait. on a Thursday, to be fair. Quick, quick, somebody will go buy this game. Ah, there's that Windows firewall notice. All right. Oh, wait. I think that's the number one, man. Are you serious? I think he was number one on the leaderboard. Exciting. Great. Good stuff. Oh, my God. They give you all the spells. Holy shit. Uh, oh, wow. Huh. Okay, so there's like a scan ability. I'll cancel out of that. Well, this will probably be short. <laughs> this is how we learn. Mm -hmm. Moist. Yeah. Oh, you get everything here. I haven't even seen a blacksmith yet. Good lord, look at all that. Blazing horse. Hmm. Uh, I'm going to say maybe building your farm by your base is not the best idea. Hmm. Uh, what is that chuck? Is that some kind of like apothecary potion making magic something something? Oh, maybe.
Speaking of apothecary magic, is um, Baldur's Gate supposed to be August? Is that this summer? I think it's, I think it's August. Damn. So soon. Building complete. Hope they get the rest of their classes in soon. There's that ebook again. Gas veins. Um, start offensive dudes, I guess. Uh, I'm going to try to be a little more aggressive here. some guys out. Hmm. I have this like incredibly intense feeling that in in a matter of moments there will just be this insane <laughs> swarm of enemies you've never seen in your sure. lifetime. Sure. Well, here comes a cavalry mm. just kind of peeking in. Uh, just a guy oh, just good. taking a look, see what's over here. Oh good. Oh good. Uh -huh. hey, here comes another one. Uh -huh. Rush me. They know the flanking maneuvers. I sh probably should not have moved against this guy, but he's. Well, can they even kill your workers? I'm not clear. He's running away. You saw what was coming. You want to know part of it? Look like it. I think he's scouting. He's doing a little scouting. Yeah. He's testing. You can play that game. Your fortifications. Up. Oh, yep. Look at that. Uh, does weather matter? I wonder. Hmm. I wonder if your farms um, don't work as well. I don't know. How is he pumping these guys out so fast? Um. Oh, I should have seen. Oh, I should have tried that root spell. Oh, he used it on me. <gasps> oh, no. Yeah. Look, this guy's number one in the world. Oh, I bet you have to you have to build. Wow, that's a lot of cavalry. I think this is over. They Pretty may sure have. Over. No, that one guy's going to do it, man. He's going to save everyone. Uh, I guess you have to build whatever that building is to get these other was it summon troops, plague, halftime, teleport. Interesting. Well, this is a cool look at what else is in this game. If you Just, hit um, like the slash key, can you, can you type GG? I don't believe you can type. What in this game you can't you cannot type in a chat? No, this is the typing is reserved like, for other things, Vinny. <laughs> that's not. That does not seem to be the case. Man, I said 20 minutes, no rush. Come on. <laughs> All right. There you have it. Look at that. Seems pretty cool. Yeah. Let's see where it went. Yeah. Let's see. He got it. He was in his economy, just got started a little faster than yours. Here. Yeah. Yeah. We were. Yeah. I wonder right if you look 20, at the replay, if you could see, see him. Oh, oh probably. Uh, oh, I... You have to type load. Oh, oh. oh, that's that's kind of a shame. Oh, wait, there it is. Now you can see what he was up to. I changed to his perspective. Hmm. So he's just mining hmm. gold. Yeah. Speed this up a little bit. Just mining gold, it's gold all day. Yep. I want to see what he built first. Probably cavalry, I assume. That would make sense if you wanted Man. to get across the map quickly. It's just stocking up on gold. <laughs> this guy is no joke with the gold. Yeah. yeah, he's got his cavalry going. He didn't even build a farm. Look at that. What happens when you turtle? Uh, what's that building? Another cavalry? So he's got it's there's his farm. Yep. yep. Okay. Yep. So oh, I see. Okay, he went. He went for the two cavalry rush. I see. Uh -huh. the two stable rush. 
time-honored tradition. Hmm. Yeah, I think I think we've already seen where this one got away from me. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Touch type he tail. Quite literally, quite quite literally, just made two stables and used workers for gold and spent all of the gold on cavalry. Yep. Like he had no other. He had nothing else. I was playing the long game, and then he just shanked me. Yeah, he got a farm in there, and he was doing some other stuff, but didn't even come to that. I think he harvested the farm once. Oh, he built a farm in the middle of the map. I didn't even yeah. notice that. What's that? Boy. All right. Touch type. Touch type. Touch types. Typing. Touch type tail. Tail. Touch type tail. Touch type tail. Yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty well, cool. Now we got another 3T game. Uh, next up, we have. Let me change it over here in the, the, the game guild Twitch. Here. Let me start guild. sending to you. Okay. All right. Let me switch this over here. Um, do, 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 do. Uh, before we get into this, mm -hmm. how are those? How are the devils doing? Uh, I think they're still in. Are they? Are they? Are they... I can double check. Okay. The who? What? Who? The Devils. The hockey. Jeff Bacalar is the devil. The hockey devils. Yes, the Devils are still in, but they are down uh, three games to one to the Hurricanes at the moment. Wait, there's an actual team called the Devils. Oh yeah, the New Jersey oh New Jersey Devils. Oh, poor Bacalar's. That, that He's so sad. Wait, that that ain't Christian. <laughs> no, it ain't. Hockey is a godless sport, as we all know. It's true. And this is tape to tape. Yes, it is. Out in early access now. I think we took a quick peek at this when uh, the Steam demos were coming around earlier this year. Uh, I have been playing it. I have a campaign that I have started here. Uh, this is a roguelike, but it's also an arcade hockey game. Okay. Uh, so I am past the part that you could get into in the demo. So I'm just going to jump in. And this is the, like, second world that you enter. So, they start you off, you're on a hockey quest. Are Your character are. here, Angus McShaggy, has been playing golf. And now he has returned to the world of hockey. I don't know why. I don't really know what's going on in this game. It kind of doesn't matter. Okay. So, you start out your campaign with Angus all the time. Uh, you get one talent that you can, or one ability that you can assign to him that's randomly, you know, randomly picked. Uh, and then you get <laughs> one main player that you can add to your team that has, like, higher than average stats. Uh, I pick Kelly Jelly, who is very fast. Okay. And then along the way, you start out with just some scrub guys that are sort of, you know, fill out the rest of your team. Uh, along the way, Sorry. you'll encounter random events that give you uh, a variety of different bonuses, including, in this case, one I unlocked where I got a smaller version of Kelly Jelly <laughs> that had gonna... all the same abilities. <laughs> I was going to say, Kelly right. Jelly, I mean, it's a great name. Yeah. This is also, this is a tenuous connection, but did I see a Killmore in there? Yes, there is Doc Killmore is one of my defensemen. Okay. That's, that's not entirely unlike a Matt Rory username. Mm -hmm. It's true. All right, so we'll just do a probably, challenge here probably, to kind of give you a sense of what the, the hockey is. Probably a coincidence. <laughs> so these challenges, you don't bomb out of your campaign if you lose these. You just don't get any money for them. It's just a first goal wins challenge. Oh, that was little Kelly Jelly. Yeah. So I've upgraded my Kelly Jelly a little bit with an ability. One of her main abilities now is that her shots curve like crazy. So they, they tend to kind of go in as long as you can kind of line it up. Makes the pass to number 81. Oh, he got me. Or no, he didn't. Okay, it went out of play. Oh, Kelly on the breakaway. Oh, little Kelly Jelly, number four with the shot. So there are a lot of wacky abilities that come into this, including some just straight up cheating. Best kind of ability. Yep. Ooh. Ooh. I 
don't know if you saw the English that kind of went on that puck, but it's, yep. it definitely curves. Yep. yep. Almost went in. Is there stuff like icing or, you know, offside? The rules or? are limited. There, okay. There is not really icing. There is, like, if the goalie holds the puck for too long, like, it will, you have to go do a face-off. Okay. But uh, nice. there's no offsides. There's no icing, as far as I can tell. I don't think fighting is in the game yet, but that sounds like they are going to add it. it. It is on the roadmap for this. What, what is icing? Okay. Icing is when you throw the puck all the way down the ice. There we go. Nice. She's dead, but it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Little Kelly Jelly's fine. Uh, icing is when you throw the puck all the way down from your end of the ice and nobody touches. Like, if, if the other team touches it, you have to do a face-off in your offensive zone. It's kind of like an offsides kind of thing. It's like clearing the puck kind of, right? Like, yeah. yeah. It's like clearing the puck, but, like, you're not allowed to do it all the way. Is that a crafting material? It's your currency that you use to buy stuff in the shop between runs. Oh, rubber? Yeah. All right, so this is a fun one. Throw your stick forward is always good. Uh, let's give this one to one of my D guys, like Mr. Kilmore. All right, so this next one is oh, yeah. a rest camp. So here I can decide if I want to just give everyone plus eight speed or just an overall plus three to everything. Okay. And these are speed. not permanent. This is like for the next game? Just for the run. Just okay. for the run. Oh, for the run. Yeah. So I gave them the speed. And so now they're they're all a little faster. All right, this is an elite challenge, so I think it's two periods, and as long as I don't lose, I can keep going. I was talking to Bacalar uh, the other day, and you were saying, like, you know, take the family. I was thinking about taking the family to a uh, Devils game in the playoffs. You know, it's very expensive. And I was like, dude, if you if you can, you can suffer that expense you should totally do it like how many times did the devils when's the last time the devils were in the playoff and he's like i don't know it's been like 10 years like it's been totally, some time like totally like your son make a memory i know it's super expensive but like that's cool because his son is super into hockey too and is a huge devils fan whoa that doesn't sound uh. good Ooh. So that guy's that guy's ability is that uh, he does a supercharge shot. It takes longer, but it really has a lot of velocity when it goes in. Mm. Yeah, that one kind of hurt. I think Can the characters take... look really nice in this. Like the cell shading. Yeah, the, the, just, I, I like the, the look. look. The look is good. Can you take players out of the game? No, okay. there's really only five on your team, so there's not like lines or anything. Brad, have you ever been to a hockey oh, game? Oh, no! Oh! Dude, definitely not. F professional football game? Yes. I think I might have gone to a Panthers game one time. Oh! Oh, oh, oh laid out. 30, 30, 30 years ago or however. Kelly Jelly's not getting up. The one nice thing about that guy's ability is that if you can line up a check, he's real easy to knock over. Uh, I like the I like the idea of I, I like the idea of like fan, fantasy themed opponent teams. Sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know how weird they get with it here, but like the, the, they do get a little pretty weird with it. It's, it's medieval. Like the like. first boss team, the first boss team that you fight is all referees that cheat. That's pretty good. Maybe do with some background music or something. Yeah. To. A little more punch. <laughs> All right, so I'm down one goal, but I still got another period here. Pull the goalie. And so this whole they roster do is that. just is just for this run, right? Like you, like yes, it generates totally new players on the next run. Angus is the only constant. So is is there any permanent unlock? Yeah, so, I mean, you. so your stats can go, like, there are stat boosts, there are abilities you can unlock that then become available in further runs. Sure. Yeah. Okay, standard, standard roguelite yeah. type stuff. Oh. Oh, 
<laughs> Some hard hitting hockey happening. Yeah, here. really. Seemed like they took out their own prints. They'll do that. If it benefits <laughs> them, they'll do it. Oh, Kelly Jelly really. Really yeah, she's taking some one. hits in this one. <laughs> oh! Ugh. Get a lot of good opportunities here. It's yeah. just not hitting. <laughs> like they're muffled announcer. What he's saying absolutely does not matter. Mm. Oh, wait, here we go. Here we go. Oh, Kelly Jelly on a breakaway. Ooh. Do you have the like NHL? I don't know if it was 94 or 95, like the flick the stick left and right really quickly and always got a goal. You know, you can if you have a high enough speed, you can definitely beat some goalies uh, as long as there's no one right in front of you. But it's tough. Like you know, it's it's not easy scoring, but it's like it is arcade hockey. You know, like it's sure. not simulation feeling at all. Wait, did you say there is an announcer? There was like a, just a <laughs> just the in <laughs> yeah. yeah, like somebody oh, left their lights on in the parking lot. Damn. All right, so okay. I lost that one. That means this run is over. But I can start a new one, and you can kind of see what happens. Uh, in the Twitch chat, they say um, multiplayer or even co-op would be nice. I do believe this has co-op. It does have multiplayer, yeah. Uh, I don't know if it's in right now, but uh, it was it was something that was on their game page. So every time you finish a run, you come back here, and then you can spend your rubber. You're like so these superstars again are the players that you unlock that allow you you know you can basically you get one of like three of these you can choose from at the beginning of each run to add to your team uh attributes are just literally like hey better stats mm -hmm. always good to have boost my shot power and then the skills here are like you know here's the things you can assign to your players as you go along okay and can you spend these between games or this is only after the run? So if you duck out, you can save your run at any point, save and exit. Um, and then if you come back in here, you can just jump into the shop. Okay. Who made this? I don't know the name of the studio off the top of my head. I, I like I like the uh, trappings of this. Mm -hmm. I believe this was a Kickstarter game, wasn't it? It was, yes. I'm going to yes, throw my brother yes, here, Rory McShaggy, into the mix. Okay, so now we have uh, Rory and Kilmore in huh? mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> Can't be a coincidence. <laughs> they're, all, they're all adding up. Excellent Rectangle is the name of the developer. Okay. Okay. It's a good name. So I can have my bench warmers uh, get a random shooting talent. I can gain 25% overall stats when I'm losing. Uh, or I can give them a propel some propellant when they get a pass. Trying to figure out when they ran this Kickstarter. I'm gonna give my guys some talents. You don't you don't hear about Kickstarters so much these days. No. Yeah. They don't make the news. They don't make Not the news like they used to. I mean, I may I don't look there as much. Ever since my shelves got filled with tiny plastic miniatures from all the board games I bought. I had to stop looking. Right out of the gate. Did you ever back anything that didn't deliver or that just like didn't happen at all? Yeah, I did. Uh, this game called um, video game called Star Mazer? Sounds familiar. Um, yeah. What's the longest one that did deliver? Ooh, that wound it's gotta up coming be, out? It, it's gotta be that uh it's gotta be that two guys from Andromeda game, the Space Quest spiritual successor, what is the name of that? Mm. What in the world was the name of that? 
Space Venture. That did come out though. They just came out last year. Okay. Uh, was in production for over a decade, I believe, and it is basically unplayable. <laughs> oh. I don't do many video games on Kickstarter. I'll do once at once in a while. I'll, I'll still do one. I did that. Um, I think it was on Kickstarter. There are a lot of other um, Kickstarter likes I use also, but uh, with Thimbleweed Park, maybe it was on Kickstarter. I did mm. that. I did the you know uh, adventure game from uh, Double Fine that time. So this is a random event here. I can either go to a camp or I can do this random event. These random events, sometimes they benefit you, sometimes they're not so great. Oh, here we have another one where I'm able to get a mini Rory McShaggy. Okay. Uh, so I have to replace one member of my team. Given his overall kind of general stats, I'm going to replace my right wing with him. Uh, who was that? That was Mark Bench. Mark Bench is gone. I now have double Rory's. Is this Noel, speaking of Rory, is this Noel's first game? Yes. I believe it is. Yeah. yeah. But I think, I think, like I said, they came along later in the process because I started as a, uh, a Kickstarter. As a Kickstarter. Right. Ugh. Yeah, gosh. February 2013 was when Space Venture originally oh boy. promised to deliver. 2013, I, and they only actually put it out in 2022, and again, it was so buggy that you basically can't finish it. I generally do... If I do Kickstarters, it's mostly board games or board game adjacent stuff, and that stuff has been knock on wood pretty... I mean, there are delays, because of course there are, but I've, got, I've received most of everything. Uh, that descent, that descent game also kind of fell apart. Video game? Yeah. It's like a reboot. I think the rights got weird, and it got it also got handed off to another studio. Really unclear. Got it. Nice, nice. I'll tell you, my the problem I have with Kickstarter or mm -hmm. Kickstarter likes, it's not just Kickstarter, crowdfunding on board games is now so many companies do it, like come on games and stuff where, gosh, they just, the amount of crap they put on the uh, Kickstarter exclusives is ridiculous in terms of um, the all-in pledges just wind up being so freaking expensive. There's like a, re a real FOMO going on there that I just have to separate myself from. Do I need every expansion for a game that I haven't even played yet? Probably yes. not. Yes. But if I don't get it, I won't get these 25 Kickstarter exclusive figurines. Oh, they got me on that one. What's, is, are there two Doc Kilmores on there? There might be. <laughs> uh, Lady of the Underworld asked if I played Gloomhaven on stream. I I want to say I played Gloomhaven at Giant Bomb on a stream when it first first came out in in early access, but I, I don't think I've played it since it's. I don't even know if it's out of early access in its current incarnation on on a stream. I fired it up once the, in a like, while. Like kind of faux tabletop sort of thing? No, that's, uh, I think you're thinking of uh, Tabletop Simulator. Is that what you're thinking of? Yeah. Gloomhaven is just like a, it's a RPG, tabletop RPG. It's got some interesting Well, that's mechanics. what I meant. It was... Like it, it, it kind of is like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This says this says a digital adaptation of a claimed board game. Yeah, sorry. It, it, it is a it is a virtual version of the board game. Yeah, that, that's what I mean. OK. Nice. Gloomhaven and now Frosthaven are 
unbelievably big boxes that weigh a lot mm. for their board games. Tremendously big. Tang says, I just got my Frost Haven Kickstarter a couple of weeks ago, so did I. And I, I'm like too intimidated to even open the box yet and start doing all the punching out. And I sleeve my cards as well. And I just, I have not had the heart to even look in there to start to says begin. It, says, it, says it weighs like 34 pounds. It's, it's, it's kind of, it's obscene. Oh, that's a heartbreaker. Uh, that kind of looked like it went in and bounced out. It coming off the crossbar, which is a thing that does happen in hockey. Oof. Oh, 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 oh okay. Oof. Ooh, I almost went bad. All right. Well, I won. Nice. Congratulations. And I can continue the campaign. Do you feel like you have to do different strategies for different teams or just play better? To a certain degree, but uh, yeah, okay. I think it's more just play better. Ooh, faster shot and release recovery. Does the AI Got use active abilities? Like, uh, yes, they do. Like the refs, for instance, they have the one that allows you to disallow a goal once. Oh, sorry, Passes I meant cannot AI be intercepted. Um, go ahead. Sorry, go ahead. No, what were you saying? I, I meant the AI on, on your team, like like your players when you're not controlling them. Will they use their abilities? Not do they even really. have active abilities, or, or is it is everything passive? They have active abilities, but like they won't use their specials unless you're controlling them. Okay. He's just gonna keep that halo, huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Speaking the of long of the running stick is very fun. Yeah. With uh, the System Shock went gold. Hey. Ooh. System Shock remake is done, done. So it's definitely finally for real actually coming out this time. Are these guys just cheaters? I mean, they're all kind of cheaters. Seems like there's a lot of stick throwing. <laughs> That's me. I'm the one doing <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, okay. I saw that. Yeah. I like to throw my stick. What can I say? It's a very good defensive maneuver. Seems it. Ooh. People keep bringing up Star Citizen in the chat, but it's not. Is that that's even not even a real. Kickstarter anymore. That, I just feel like that's yeah, a live that, service game that that's, you know that's, that's just its takes own, money. That, that's that's, that's a money completely pit. insane thing. I mean, I still like checking into Star Citizen. I think that game. I, I honestly believe that game still has potential in it. But man, what a what a weird thing. Did you pay into it? Mm-hmm. I bought I bought the like starter ship at some points. Uh, Drew and I did. We still check in once a year at least, usually for those um, uh, bike charities, the MS bike charities. You know, we got an email to the podcast. I'll just read it now since we're talking about it. Uh, this conversation reminded me from Jordan. Update on Star Citizen. They recently put out a major update, which has made the servers and game very unstable. A few days ago, they went ahead with a planned in-game event, which involves lots of NPC ship battles, but also degrades the server quality significantly. Mm. Oh, no. I can see where this is going. Where, it's gotten to the point where players are getting together to kill the, the players who are trying to do the in-game event just to stop it from progressing so they can maintain server performance. <laughs> you have to eliminate the event. That's incredible. 
I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do. Mm. I mean, I yes, that is very that is very much like an Eve Online story. I am uh, like a sucker for a fully rendered spaceship cockpit. Like, mm -hmm. if, if you just took the game, all the other game out of it, I was thinking this when I was playing Jedi Survivor. I just want to sit in the cockpit and I want a fully functional cockpit with all the buttons that work. So I could just, I want to try and take off that, the, is it the Mantis in Survivor? I just want to take off with it on my own, kind of like Flight Simulator. Yeah, they should do that. It would be they should I, do just like they should just make like flight simulator, but totally fake, like totally science fiction. But, but functional. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. Like model all the systems of the ship. Yes. Like in a world where Disney just funded any and every Star Wars project anybody ever came up with, mm -hmm. just make like X wing simulator. Oh, you mean like some kind of extended universe? Mm -hmm. Nah, they never work. Uh, people ask about Everspace 2. I don't know if we ever... Do we ever stream Everspace 2 here? Uh, I checked it out when it first went into early access. Okay. And Elite I, Dangerous as well. I, I mean, I feel like we've been in and out of those games in various times. I can't remember if I did something with it. Like maybe it was, I might have played it on UPF or something. I, I think I maybe was going to, but I found it very crashy at the time. Hmm. Uh, but it's done now, so... Which one got the PSVR support? But, um, are you thinking of Elite Dangerous? I, th I might be thinking of Elite. Yeah, between Elite and um, I think it did. Everspace. Is Everspace even on consoles? Everspace One, Two, Two. I don't. I don't actually know. I don't think so. I mean, it wasn't when it went in the early access. I don't think. Jeez, mm -hmm. I outshot them twenty-two to six on that one. So. <laughs> Looks like it's coming so to PlayStation and Xbox. Rigged okay. face off. You always win a face off. Oh, that's pretty good. I mean, yeah, that's, that's pretty also, good. Also, Ben Warmer is getting 20% shot accuracy. It's not bad either, but I'm going to take the face off one. Eh, let's make them all better checkers, too. All right, so how's my lineup here doing? Eh, everyone's, everyone's getting a little boost. A little boosty. I have so many talents on this guy. Have you? How far have you gotten in a run? I got to the boss of the second area, and then I bombed out pretty hard. Okay. Well, what's a boss like? This is a boss fight. So this, this is the boss oh, okay. of the first area right here. This is the ref team. Is it always the refs? The, the box, boss fights are fixed? Yeah, I mean, when so not the random, bosses are fixed for each area. Gideon lit mustache. Mm -hmm. Look at this ref. Look at the ref that's in here now. That guy's shady as fuck. Uh huh. Is he gonna honor your rigged face off? Yep. So here's the thing: they would always win the face offs if I didn't have that talent. That's funny. Ah. That's yeah. That's pretty good. Is it hard to uh, switch around to the player you want to be, like control one? It usually goes to the guy that is closest to the puck. Okay. It's kind of general ho hockey mm -hmm. game stuff. Yeah, that's how most hockey games do it. Oh, 
Wolf. And you see there, the ref is actually like grabbing the puck and throwing it to the other team. Now, nice. will they disallow this one? We'll see, because they have the... Yep, they're disallowing the first goal. <laughs> because they have that ability. <laughs> that sucks. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I can respect it. Yeah. Man, people talk about I mean, Elite Dangerous in Everspace 2. I I don't think I can tell you the difference right now. I'd have to go back and check um, those out. Elite is definitely, like, I think, more sim-like. More sim-like? Okay. Probably. probably I, th I think there's a lot more to it in terms of, like, commerce and stuff like that. I didn't play a ton of Everspace when it first came out, but I think it's more kind of... Is it lootish a little bit? I can't remember. I really... I, I have them... They are... The same space image I have in my head could be either game. Oh, that's right. I remember playing Everspace and going like, wow, that's a lot of crafting materials. Okay, Megasum says Elite is more sim. Everspace is third person arcade. Gotcha. Yeah, I was, yeah it, it definitely plays much more arcadey. You're killing it, Alex. Nice. Yeah. It looks very nice. I, I should probably download that again. Yeah, I got a breakaway on that one. Oh, that's right. Okay, I started to say Everspace 2 was a roguelite, but the first one was the roguelite. I might have played some of that one, too. So when you throw your stick, Alex, I, mm -hmm. you can't accept the pass that you can't then steal it, right? You have no stick. Yeah, they, I, usually I switch off that player and then have to go, uh, <laughs> like they'll go pick up their stick. Okay. So far, so good. Still two more periods. So is Elite on um, PS5? Uh, folks in the chat, I know Brad uh, stepped away for a sec. And does that have PSVR 2 support, if it is? Cool. Yeah, a lot of people got knocked around on that one. Cool. Uh, Mr. V says they stopped development of the console versions of Elite. Okay. Man, I wish somebody, we talked about it on the podcast, but if they ever got that PSVR 2 stuff working on the PC, that'd be pretty cool. Nice. Again, nice. Mm-hmm. Can't disallow that shit. <laughs> Those corner shots seem to work. That's hockey, baby. That's a uh, that's mm -hmm. video game hockey. So I've been told. Wait, that was that a goal? What is he dead? I got to see the replay on that one. Or is this the refs How? doing? It? Is this the refs doing their business? They might be doing some dirty business. I don't know. Let's see. What's the goal here? Oh, they didn't show it. <laughs> that's how you know it's bullshit. <laughs> yeah. That was a bad shot. Yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't your best. No, that's not my best player. What? Man. Uh oh. Are there shootouts? Is some... No, just overtime. The image of all those refs making calls at the same time is kind <laughs> of amazing. I feel like there might have been a shootout. Feature listed on the thing as well. Mm. Oh, okay. Let's see. Um, 
Um, manual goaltenders, a fighting mode. Quality of life improvements. Uh, that's all I see on the on the what is left to add. Oh list. no! Damn! Oh! Oh! That almost went bad. That's the one they should have called the goal. Yeah. Woo. Oh, you gotta. What happens if it's a draw? Goes into Over, overtime. Overtime. Okay. Sudden death. Well, there's still one more period after this anyway. Oh, but. okay. Okay. Oof. I'm gonna hold on to that one. There's way too much going on in front of that net. Man, it's a tense one. Yeah. All right, 2-2. Two, two. Well, it should be 3-2, but we, we know what happened. Is it hard to beat this one? Do you normally make it I, past I, the I'd say I beat it half the time. It's not easy, but you know what you're doing. You can find your way through it. Any idea how many bosses are in here? Or like what no, not off the room? top of my head. I don't know how many levels there are, so... Is there a boss of bosses? There probably hmm. is. Okay, good. I assume it's Gordy Howe. <laughs> the true boss of bosses. Mm hmm Oh, right under the legs. Gordy Howe is going to tell you how to get past Ebony and Ivory and, uh, and Dante. Devil may cry. Just did something I have not done in, like, probably literal years, which was type tape to tape game facts. Wow. Ooh. I was like, I was like, if there's any way to find out how many bosses are in this game, it's to go to game facts. There are no facts. What? I mean, it's possible that not everything out. is in yet. Also, I don't, I don't, I don't know exactly how much content there is at this stage. Um, I guess my bigger question is like, what is the output on game facts these days? Maybe people are still working on their ASCII art. Are there still? facts being written you think you could go to chat gpt and ask it to do tape to tape ascii art for my game fact <laughs> for my game Please facts don't. guide do you think it could Probably. generate do you think it could generate it i want to make sure chat i tie is, up the chat gpt servers <laughs> making ascii art for my game facts chat guide. chat chat is chat is reinforcing what i fear to be the case which is game facts is kind of dead ah uh, they never should have merged the forums. Yep, never should have merged the forums. I mean, you're right, actually, but, you know. <laughs> the ref is now, in fact, checking me as I'm going along. <laughs> That's how you know they're worried. And that kind of has made me more depressed than it should have. It's a little depressing. I'm going to go, like... Whoa! Later, I'm going to go through every Mortal Kombat 2 fact I can find just to remember what good facts are. Just remember what it fit, meant to feel something. Right. Do you, I do want you find newer than 1994? Do you find some like, like when I look up stuff for video games and uh, I hit hit random pages? Do you find on mobile or on like like a smaller screen some sites are just unusable these days? With the amount Most, of yeah. okay, fact, yeah. Yes. Okay, yes. it's not just me with slightly older devices. Like stuff just will not load until. Yeah. Okay. Oh man, I just went to MK2 and clicked a random fact, and it is written by a guy I know from IRC from back then. Oh, that wow. tracks. That's pretty good. Also, he never finished it. It's still version point nine nine. That's it. You should you should help him out there. Can, should, we could probably lock that one in. Mm -hmm. I should just hit him up and be like, hey, uh, you know, it's probably fine, whatever is missing here. If you just want to go ahead and finish this. There are so many sites I'll go to just to be like, okay, like I was just playing Jedi Survivor. I feel like I needed to look up something. And it's like, I it, this is unusable. Like your website, it's it just, it's it'll load in the first paragraph. Then it's just white blocks of white space as all the other ads load in. And just seven auto play. Oh, just. Yep. It's the world we live in now. Fuck, it sucks. 
Yeah. Make the web as unusable as possible. It really it was just was like this is just unusable. I don't know what is gonna happen if if and when Google rolls out this AI stuff they've been demoing. New AI right. stuff? We got a newer. We got a revenge game here against the uh, the old knights. <laughs> you got this. Yeah, it's not live yet. They've just been testing and showing it off. Like essentially is taking taking the content of the existing search results and kind of hashing it into like natural language to just give you a full page sort oh. of answer to your question. Interesting. Damn, that was on with, me. With, with the actual links to the search results relegated to like a little tiny like side unit. It's kind of like the Bing, the Bing's new search. What's their thing called? Their search bot? Yeah, AI. They, 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 I, theirs is probably pretty similar, but I don't know how many people are just not going to ever bother clicking past the AI summary. Hmm. There we the go. Question, which is basically going to destroy a bunch of sites that survive on Google side door traffic. Getting a little chunk on this audio. Let me see. Chunking. Oh no. Do I need to reset? Uh, I think it's. Wait. I think I might have sorted it out. Okay. Has Google ever run into any problems that uh, they were taken to court over about promoting their own stuff, like YouTube uh, results over other people's videos? Not, not in the way that like Microsoft was for Internet Explorer, if that's what you mean. Yeah, that's kind of what I mean. Like, not, 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 not that I'm aware of. Or maybe, maybe so. People were saying yes. If, if that has happened, I hadn't heard about it. Hmm. Oh, they might be answering other questions. Oh, actually, yeah, it's hard to tell. <laughs> yeah. Oh, never mind. I think they, I mean, they were responding to whether Damn. Zelda can be preloaded or not. Hmm. You got this, Alex. Yeah, it ain't over yet. charge <laughs> it's very satisfying to hit that guy when you line it up especially when he's making a sound <laughs> all right one more period we can do this you can do this Get him. Mm -hmm. My son's friends were giving him a hard time because he didn't know the difference between iOS and Android. <laughs> it's like, fuck your son. What not? are you teaching him? <laughs> no. What, what, oh, yeah, right. I was kind of glad he did not like care to know the difference between iOS and Android. Like, like that is not it's freedom. That is the knowledge. I'm really glad you don't know that. It sounds like being free. I think they were like, how do you not know what, like, um, you know, what your parents use on their cell phones? Like, oh, my God. The difference between the blue bubbles and the green bubbles. Mm -hmm. Man, being a kid sucks. <laughs> Always has. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think there's a whole thing about shaming people in the group chat for having the green bubble. Oh my gosh, really? In, in oh some yeah. circles. Oh, absolutely. At least I think I saw something about that. It's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, like, oh, here we go. 
iPhone iPhone's share is still like minuscule compared to Android, isn't it? Um, like worldwide. Yeah, it's definitely smaller. But I mean, you know, as as a as a platform made by one manufacturer, it's pretty Shit. big. Alex, almost out of time. Make it happen. Vinny, I have to. I have to ask. Did you yes. just have the yes! Windows USB disconnect reconnect sound, or was that me? That might have been you. I did not hear it here. Okay. Oh, great. Wow, Ooh. that was clutch. Overtime. Overtime. All right. Huh. They ain't going down quiet. Neither am I. You think they rubber banded you? I'm going to say you earned it. I'm going to say you earned it. I earned it. You earned I it. I earned it. Absolutely not. That shit out of here. <laughs> oh, gosh. Get it out of there. Whoops. <laughs> No! Oh boy! <laughs> that could have gone real bad. Couldn't get a guy in time. Oh man! Oh man! Now come on, number sixteen. This is uh. They're coming. They're tough. Yeah. They ain't messing around. Ooh! Uh oh. Hmm. <laughs> He's a nail biter. Yeah. Oh gosh. We're okay. We're okay. This is it. It was not it. It was not it. Oh, he was like way out of net. Don't let him charge. Gia! Oh no! All right. Okay. There was a guy. There was a dead body in the way, <laughs> so that helped. Oh, we're so going to second OT. Where is Where it? You? Wow! No! <laughs> I checked him at the last second. Uh... I just, just a hair late. A shit eating grin on his face. <laughs> Honestly, number 16 really kind of whiffed it on that yeah. one. Hey, you roll with the bench warmers. That's what you get. So, and 2.4 uh, That seconds. was fun, though. That was fun. That was fun. That, that seems like a lot of fun. You have not played multiplayer on this yet, right? Or, no, uh, not yet. Okay. Fucking cheaters. So I'm really enjoying this game a lot. Like, I've, cool. I've played a bunch of runs now, and I'm having a good time with it. Again, it is an early access. It is not content complete at this stage, but I think there's enough here if you're worried about, like, jumping in on something like this uh, in the middle of that period. All right. Uh, that is tape to tape, and that is going to wrap up our uh, grab bag for this week. Look at this guy. He, he knows it. Well, happy Thursday. Mm -hmm. Happy Thursday, says. This man's having a happy Thursday. Gideon La Mustache. La Mustache. Uh-huh. We are uh, going to be back tomorrow where one of us, we haven't even decided uh, who is going to be yet, is going to be playing some Zeldies, Legend of Zeldies, um, live on Friday, release day tomorrow. You can come join us. We'll be starting from the beginning there. Check it out. Uh, Monday, we had Sons of the Forest. We've got the Grab Bag. Oh, sorry. This is the Grab Bag. Ramblecast, uh, Watchcast, uh, the podcast. You can hear our thoughts on Jedi Survivor, more tape to tape. You can hear some thoughts on um, <laughs> Brad's continuing uh, Resident Evil and Redfall adventures. Mm -hmm. uh, check all that stuff out over on the podcast. And if you missed it, we have never been a better podcast up on patreon.com slash nextlander with uh, we got Jeff Bacalar, Abby Russell, Dan Riker, Nelson Walker all joining us for that episode. A lot of fun. Uh, thank you, Alex, and thank you, Brad. We will be back tomorrow with more. See you, folks. Have a good one. <laughs>